Well, good day, everybody. Welcome to today's video. Today's video, we're going to start honing the cylinder just to deglaze it. Because you can see inside, right there, we got that shiny surface we got to get rid of. Now, in order to get a cylinder hone that small to fit in there, I picked up this one right here. It's a power built one and a quarter to three and a half disc brake and small engine cylinder hone that you use with the drill. There's other tools you're going to need for this job. One of them is, but you don't really you can get away without it. And that is, you can see the cylinder is beveled there. So you don't really need it. But I do have a piston ring compressor. And also over here with my piston rings, I have a piston ring tool. So now let's get everything set up. First thing I want to do is I have some oil here. I just want to get it into the cylinders. So I just want to put a dab of oil on each, each hone too. I got the drill on low speed as well. So what we want to do is just deglaze it. We don't want to hone this out and rebore it. We just want to just go back and forward like that. Go back and forward like that. So you can see right there, just lightly put a scuff in there just to kind of wipe off some of the glaze. I don't want to do it totally. Moving forward, we got the piston and we got the special piston ring tool. It's kind of a, does have its challenges working on a small engine. There's three rings. Each one has a different purpose. And this one here is being tough to get on. Come on, come on, grab. grab and then these two smaller ones which will be and then there we go so I can see some carbon behind that ring and I want to check the holes there because if these holes in the oil ring are plugged it's not going to allow oil to go back down and just burn it so what i'm doing right now before i put the new piston rings on is just cleaning it with some brake cleaner and i should have mentioned this before when you're done doing the cylinder hone as well you want to make sure the cylinder is really cleaned out before you put the new piston with rings in <laughs> So if you notice on those piston rings, the two compression rings, there's an N. Those marks will go up. So I'm going to try this again. I'm going to put the oil ring in first. Because it seems to want to fit in there super tight. For whatever reason and squeeze the other ring in the bottom and then grab the last one and 
start it. So at the end pointing up, the second ring, which is the black ring, that one is going on next. And that's a tight fit. We'll worry about the placement of the piston rings afterwards because they got to be 120 degrees apart. Perfect. Now we got the piston ring gap. Top ring is right there. Second one. And then everything's kind of split. We don't want to move that around too much. Now it's piston assembly. We're going to totally coat this cylinder with assembly grease. And we're also going to take the piston assembly tool, coat that, not the piston. Try to line that up as best as I can. Let's see if I can get that through. Oh, I think we're good. We got her in. We got her in. There we go. There we go. Then, of course, once you're done, you just got to reassemble everything, set the timing, and you're good to go. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.